Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, actually, in our last lecture, we introduced uh, what is the meaning of the probability distribution and what is the meaning of the binomial distribution. If, uh, from the same graph now, we can have a quick revision or review for that. We said the probability distribution can be a table. In that table, you have the values of x, and for each value of x, you have a probability. And we have two conditions to say you have a probability distribution. If you have each value of the probability between 0 and 1, and second condition, if you have a sum of the probability values for all the values of x equal 1. So from that table, that is a probability distribution. But we say a probability distribution as a table. So from that table, you can find the probability for any value of x. You can find the mean using this formula. If I ask you now, find the average or mean of x, you cannot say the average equals sum of the values of x divided by their number. Why? Because for each value of x, you have a probability. So I, as we said before, we said to consider the probability value then to find the mean, you have to use that formula, sigma x times the probability of x. In the same way, to find the variance from that table, you have to use this formula. And that the first type of the probability distribution. So the probability distribution can be a table, as we said now, and can be a function. So in that function, you can substitute with the value of x, then roughly speaking, if you, are, if you can substitute with the value of x, then you can find the probability of x. So in our course, we have two cases of the function. First, a discrete function for the discrete probability uh, variables. And second, we have a continuous uh, probability distribution function. For the discrete, in our course, we are covering two distributions. We covered already a binomial distribution. And today, I will cover a Poisson distribution. And for a continuous probability distribution function, I will cover a uniform, and then we cover a normal distribution. But a normal distribution, actually, one of the main important distributions in statistics. And that I will take uh, more than uh, one lecture to cover a normal distribution. So for the binomial and Poisson, uh, we said they are discrete distributions. You have function, formula. If you substitute in this formula with the value of x, then you are getting a probability of x. So a very simple example for that, assuming you have a case for the El Poisson distribution, that special case from El Poisson distribution, if you have a probability of x equal e to power x divided by x factorial. Assuming this formula, I need to find the probability of x equal 3. If I need to find the probability of x equal 3, I have to substitute in this formula with a value of x equal 3, and that will be substitution probability of x equal 3 that equal e to power negative 3 divided by 3 factorial, then using your calculator, you can find uh, that value. So uh, assuming another equation, we need to find the probability of x greater than or equal to, which means at least 2. So you have to substitute in this formula according to the values that you have. So now I'm assuming the maximum value is, is 5. So assuming I need to find the probability of x from 2 to 5. But for the Poisson distribution, that is a special case, actually. That's a special case. I will, not I will not have the maximum value. So that plus and so on. I will tell you how I can use a calculator uh, to uh, find that probability. So x greater than or equal to that equal 2, 3, 4, and so on, till infinity. So how I can find that probability? Very simply, I will use a complement idea. So now using a calculator will simplify all the calculations. So now we can cover the Poisson distribution. But before covering that, just I need to give you how to use a calculator. So very simply, that how to use a factorial from your calculator. Shift that button will give you a factorial. And uh, shift that button will give you a exponential, e to power. And also, in the binomial case, we use that one to find the combination, NCR. So please, you have to make sure you know how to use a calculator for all the calculations uh, that you need in our distributions. OK, so now we cover the binomial distribution and the formula. And I told you that the formula for the binomial distribution. OK, so you have a probability of x equal NCX times P to power x times Q to power N minus x. That's for the binomial distribution. Today, I am introducing the new distribution, the Poisson distribution. Actually, you have some similarity between a binomial and Poisson, but in general, we are using a Poisson distribution if you, if you have rare events. 
and only one information you know about the events, the average for these events. Okay, so first, what is the formula for the Poisson distribution? That the formula e probability of x equal e to power negative lambda times lambda to power x divided by x factorial. A lambda indeed in that in that formula, which is the average mu. Okay, so lambda indeed it's just the average. So why I'm writing in this formula? So this formula you can write that as again you can write that as the probability of x equal in the same way e to power negative mu can be written as that e to power negative mu times mu to power x divided by x factorial and you have an x any value you have an x from integer values from zero till infinity now we don't have maximum value for x x the maximum value is infinity not same as a binomial. For the binomial, the maximum value for x equal n, the number of the trails that you have. So now why I'm writing lambda in that formula, not in u, because in the Poisson distribution, we have a special case. We have in u equal sigma squared. We have a mean equal variance all the time. In the case of the Poisson distribution, we have in u equal variance this is why we name that as lambda. If you are using a notation lambda, because in the Poisson distribution, you have a mu equal invariance. So in the formula, sometimes we use a mu and sometimes we use lambda just as notation for a mu and variance or a mu and sigma squared in the same time. So uh, I'm, as I'm saying that the Poisson distribution only used if you have rare events. Rare events means only one information given for you in the question. It's given for you average. If you have some experiments for the rare events and only one information is given for you that the average or the value of the average, then you can use actually a Poisson formula to find the probability. So you have discrete random variable. That variable actually is about rare events and only an average is given for you, then, and you have independent trails, of course, then you can use actually a binomial, you can use a Poisson formula, okay? So now that in general, how to use a formula using, you can substitute using the calculator. So one example for that, I can cover uh, one example to show the idea, assuming now we can start with example six. So in example six, it's given for you that the average, now only one information given for you, the average number of homes. So the average number of homes, that means in you, that the average. So the average number of homes sold by the ACME reality company is two homes per day. So it's given for you that in you equal two homes per day. So that's the information given for you. You don't have any other information about the events that a number of homes sold uh, every day, okay? So now uh, the number of homes that our variable and that variable now assuming it's rare events to be per day, daily events, and only you know an average. So what distribution we can use? I will give you that clearly actually. In the question, I will give you that clearly we are using a Poisson distribution, but you have to know if you have rare events and only you have an average is given for you as information, mostly you have a binomial distribution, okay? Now the question, what is the probability that exactly three homes will be sold tomorrow? So the question can write that if you're if assuming X, a number of homes that uh, actually sold per day, then the, the question means find the probability of X equal exactly three, which means X equal three. That's the question. What is the value of the probability of X equal three? And you know, mu equal two. So now mu, the same as lambda. So you can write that lambda equal two, which is mu, which is actually the variance in the same time. So in that equation, I have mu equal variance, sigma squared, equal lambda, okay? that equal to, 
That means the average equal the variance. We name that as lambda. In our case, that equal to. But you have to be careful about the unit of the time. That two per day, because sometimes you have a trucks about the how to use a unit of time. I will, I will tell you that in some questions. Okay. So now the question: What is the probability of x equal to three if you have a lambda or a mu or a variance equal to? To answer that the question, I have to substitute in this formula that the Poisson. Uh, distribution formula. The probability distribution function, we name it as a Poisson distribution. If you have rare events and only it's given for you a value of the average lambda. How I can substitute? I have a lambda that equal to, and in the quotient, I have an x equal to three, and then I can substitute and use a calculator for that. I'm writing here uh, using the Poisson this table. Uh, in our course, I'm not using a table actually. So please, we don't use any table for the binomial or a Poisson. Or... Or in a form, uh, especially if you have online questions, it will be easy uh, to use directly a formula. So now to answer, substitute in this formula. Now to answer, you have to substitute in this formula using x equal three and lambda equal two, and that the substitution, okay? So very simply, you have a formula and then substitute directly uh, in this formula. A question seven, the same, very similar question. Suppose the average number of lines seen on a day safari is five. So that's the information given for you. You have an average number of lines seen on a one day safari is five. So you have mu equal, look, is five, equal five per day. Be careful about the unit of the time still. I'm telling you that. So now we have mu or lambda or sigma squared equal five per day. And the question, what is the probability that a tourist will see if you are than four, if you, uh, if you are uh, fewer than four lines on the next one day safari. So now assuming now a number of lines equal X, our X, the just notation X, is the number of lines per day, our seen per day. So now the question, find the probability of X if you are than four, less than four. And that's the question, that's the question. Ta how to answer that question? Because only you have an average, so I have a Poisson distribution. So now I have to substitute in this formula with lambda equal five and X equal from zero to three. I have to substitute four times, one time X equal zero, x equal one, x equal two, and x equal three, okay? So uh, as I told you before, in the case of the binomial distribution, we can use a calculator to simplify calculations. So now I need to answer that question using a formula. So the question, find the probability of x less than four, so that equal, probability of x equal zero plus the probability of x tell the probability of x equal three. How many times I have to substitute? Four times, one time with x equal zero, one, two, and three. So, uh, and now I have a mu as information, we have a mu equal five. So I have to substitute, as I told you, in this formula for the Poisson formula, I have to substitute four times. Another way to simplify calculation, you can substitute in this formula using a summation notation from a calculator. So just write sigma notation, and then you have an X. Please refer to the last lecture. I explained in details how to use a calculator and how to use a summation notation in the calculator to reduce the calculations, uh, very similar equation in the binomial uh, case. So in the, in the Poisson case, just you have an X starting from zero, tell the maximum now is a three. Be careful, not including four, why? Because if you are done four, so X less than four, so I'm not including four in the calculation from X to zero, from X equal zero, tell X equal three. And then substitute in the formula, all that inside the brackets. And then substitute in the formula. In the formula, e to power lambda, e to power negative lambda, so e to power negative five. 
times lambda to power x, so write lambda as five, so e to power negative five times five to power x, don't substitute with the value of x, leave it as x, and then divide it by x factorial. So now I have two ways to answer that equation. One way, I will substitute in this formula four times using mu equal five and x equal zero till three, that one way, and that is second way. That is second way. I will substitute in this formula using a summation notation. So leave x inside the formula and then on the summation notation, you substitute with the value of x from zero to three. So now the calculator will, you have to put the uh, multiplication sign, multiplied by. So now in this formula, the calculator will substitute for you from zero to three in this formula. And then you can find that value. So that's very simply a meaning of the El Poisson distribution and how to substitute uh, in the formula. So we can see the answer for that equation. Okay, you have lambda equal five, which is a mu, x less than four. Then you have a substitution three times from zero, one, two, three. If you substitute one by one, you'll find that the probability of x equal zero and that x equal one, x equal two, x equal three. Adding them up, that will give you a probability of x less than 4.265. The second way, as I told you, you can use a calculator one time using a summation, uh, summation notation or sigma. That will give you almost the same, uh, same value. Please try by yourself to apply uh, the calculator one time using summation notation and another time uh, one by one and adding them up. Then make sure you have the same answer. Okay. So that in general, the El Poisson distribution, how to know if you have only one information given for you, that the value of the, uh, of the average. نأخذ مع بعض كده مثال أو أكثر من مثال تاني نطبق El Poisson distribution لكن الفكرة ببساطة الحقيقة عشان الناس اللي معايا أونلاين يبقوا متابعين إنه El Poisson distribution غالبا بنستخدمه في rare events. Rare events يعني معلومات أو أحداث نادرة ويبقى عندك one information given only بيديك ال value of the average. دي المعلومة الوحيدة اللي هو عارفها عن rare events وبالتالي أنا عندي هنا integer أو discrete random variable وعندي the average given for you you don't have any other information then we can use the Poisson formula ده شكل the Poisson formula قلنا اللمضة هنا معناها إيه؟ معناها ال mu وال variance في نفس الوقت عشان كده النوتيشن إما تستخدم اللمضة أو mu نفس المعنى لكن هنا في special case دائما ال variance بيساوي ال average يعني القيمة بتاعت ال average You have to be careful about that. يعني في السؤال ده مثلا ادانا ال average equal 5. لو سألنا في نفس ال question على ال variance هيبقى ال variance equal 5. ولو سألنا على ال standard deviation يبقى ال standard deviation equal ال square root of the variance يعني equal ال square root of a mu. يعني لو قال لي ال average ب 5 وسألنا على ال standard deviation او ال standard deviation equal The square root of the five. خلي بالك ممكن يديك ال information ويرجع يسأل عنها تاني. سواء بشكل صريح أو بشكل غير صريح. Okay, direct or indirect questions. نأخذ سؤال مع بعض نشوف ال ال applications بتاعة ال idea. في عندي two tricks هنا في ال Poisson distribution. أول trick بتاعة ال time, the unit of the time. يديك ال information per day with the questions per week. So you have to transform a unit of the time for the average, okay? The second trick about the a, the variance with standard deviation will mean that the mean equal the variance. The one information you have to know to be able actually to answer the questions. Okay, we take a few examples. Kida eight. We see what are the tricks that we have and how to answer that question. Example eight. Uh, the ATM installed outside a bank, it's used on average. So now only you have one information about that machine. You have an average.
هو حد سمع الدكتور؟ دكتور هو سون حضرتك بيقطع دكتور لو حضرتك سمعنا عيد تاني عشان في صوت Okay, so now in example eight, it's given for you that the average equal three per hour. That the information, and now uh, we have the x that a random variable presenting a number of customers using the ATM. Now a question A, write the probability distribution of x. Uh, meaning of that, معناه إيه؟ معناه إن أنا حكتب شكل the probability function. لو كانت binomial, حكتب the probability binomial function. ولو كانت the Poisson, حكتب شكل the Poisson function. لكن وانا بكتب الفانكشن او الفورمولا اعوض بالانفورميشن اللي عندي انا ايه وات ذا انفورميشن ذات وي هاف ان ذات كويستشن وي هاف ميو ايكوال 3 سو ذات از باينوميال اور بوسون موستلي ذات از بوسون واي بيكوز اونلي يو هاف الافريج اف يو ريفير باك تو ذا ليكشر اباوت الباينوميال فور ذا باينوميال ديستريبيوشن وي هاف ان نمبر اوف تريلز ان اند وي هاف البروبابيلتي بي يعني دايما الكويستشن اللي بيديك فيه الافريج از انفورميشن هيبقى ده الباسون ديستريبيوشن وده شكل الفانكشن بتاعته. الاذر كيس بتاعت الباينوميال زي ما قلت لك هتلقى شكل الفانكشن موجود في المحاضره بتاعتها في الشرح بتاع الباينوميال ديستريبيوشن. يبقى كويستشن A تو انسر كويستشن A جاست تراي ذيس فانكشن اند بوت اللامدا ايكوال 3 يبقى عشان تجاوب على كويستشن A كلمه رايت البروبيتي ديستريبيوشن فانكشن يعني اكتب شكل المعادله او شكل الفورمولا بتاعت الديستريبيوشن لكن عوض بالانفورميشن اللي عندك يعني انا عندي هنا الميو او اللامدا ايكوال 3 فهعوض هنا بالفورمولا ان اللامدا ايكوال 3 وتبقى الانسر بتاعتي بالشكل التالي اهو يبقى البروبيت اوف اكس ايكوال اي تو باور نيجاتيف لامدا تايمز لامدا تو باور اكس ديفايد باي اكس فاكتوريال اند سبستيتيوت وذ ذا فاليو اوف لامدا ايكوال 3 اند ذن بوت الاكس رينج اوف ذا فاليوز فروم 0 تو انفينيتي اند ذات ناو الانسر فور كويستشن اي A question B, and please now be careful about the question B. Question B, هنا حيلعب B. فكرة إنه خلاص how to use the formula. Now I know the formula. Question B, how to use the formula? What is the probability that during that hour, eight customers came to use this ATM? If you are assuming X for number of customers, then. The question B معناها find the probability of x equal eight. يبقى question B find the probability of x equal eight. Just substitute in the formula that you have in the question A with the value x equal eight. يعني the formula تعتك أو the probability distribution function اللي هو في رقم A أو question A هتستخدمه and substitute with the value of x equal eight. That will be the answer. يعني question the answer for that that equal that the formula e to power negative three times three to power eight three to power x will be three to power eight divided by eight factorial. And from the calculator, you can use the e the exponential sign, and you can use the factorial, and then directly can find the e. You can find the answer for that. That the question B, you can find the answer in the second page. Okay, that equal almost 0.008. A question C. Question C. That the second trick actually, as I told you in the past one. C find the mean and standard deviation. Question C find the mean and standard deviation. The mean that the average I have. It's given for you in the question. I have an average equal to three. So now in equation C, the mean equal the average equal three. So just just equal three. And the standard deviation, I know from the Poisson distribution, sigma the standard deviation that equal the square root for the variance, and I know that the variance equal the average in the case of the Poisson. So that equal the square root of the three. Yeah, the answer for equation C. I'll find the mean. We already did the average. What the average? What the mean? يعني بالرغم ان مديني المعلومه بيرجع يسال عنها تاني اوكي يعني بي كيرفول اباوت ذات في الكيس بتاعه الباسون ديستريبيوشن يبقى فايند المين يبقى المين ايكوال الافريج ذات ايكوال 3 اند فايند ستاندرد ديفيشن سو الستاندرد ديفيشن ايكوال السكوير روت اوف ذا فيرينس ذات ايكوال السكوير روت اوف ذا افريج ايكوال السكوير روت اوف 3 اوكي 
طيب now we finalize the question eight. The question nine, I will leave it for you actually, but we have one track in the question nine. هنقرأ question nine مع بعض. We الحياة هتناقش معكم فيه. We حسب لكم solution ليك. بعد كده خلصنا ليه the binomial, the binomial, the last lecture will pass on in that lecture. Those discrete the probability distribution functions. We have the discrete and the two distributions. The binomial will pass on. We بعد كده we cover the two distributions. الناس اللي معايا اونلاين سامعيني يا شباب؟ سامعين حضرتك ايوه ايوه طيب اكسامبل 9 عايزين نقراها مع بعض كده سريعا عشان نعمل ديسكشن عليه في وان تراك اكسامبل 9 ا ماشين بريكس داون اون افريج اوف تو تايمز بير مانث يبقى الفيرست انفورميشن جيفن فور يو ان الافريج ايكوال تو بير مانث بي كيرفول اباوت اليونت اوف ذا تايم از اي تولد يو يعني هنا ميو ويتش از لامدا That equal to per month. يعني بيحصل العطل مرتين في الشهر. Okay, that information per month. If I have two, sorry, you have two per month. That the first information that we have the average. Now the question direct. You don't have any other information. So because you have rare events. The breakdown for the machine, and you have only the average given for you. That the value of the average equal two per month. Then we have the Poisson distribution. The question: Find the probability that during the next month this machine will have a question A exactly two breakdowns. Question B: At least three breakdowns. A question C: At most four breakdowns and three. Months. So question C, it's a tricky. So in question A, just find the probability of X equal to direct substitution in the formula or of the of the Poisson distribution. We have a lambda equal to, and you have an X equal to in question A. In question B, at least three. How I can answer the question B? At least three. So that means the probability of x greater than or equal to three, using a complement idea, using a complement idea that equal one minus a remaining of that. We said if you have x greater than or equal to three, a remaining will be x equal zero, equal one, equal two. So that equal directly one minus the probability of x. Less than or equal to. So that means I need to substitute in the formula three times. One time with zero, second time with one, third time with two, adding them up and then subtract that from one. That will be the answer for question B. Still, a question A, you are using a lambda equal to. A question B, you are using a lambda equal to. A question three. It actually means find the probability of x less than or equal four. But now you have to be careful in that equation. Now a lambda it will not be two. It will be two times three. Why? Because you have two breakdowns per month. So how many breakdowns? How many breakdowns will be per three months? That will be two times three. So now, please be careful. In question C, we have a lambda equal two per month multiplied by a number of uh, number of months that you have, which is three. So that equal a value six. So now, in question C, I'm using lambda equal equal C equal two times three equal six. Okay. So that you have to be careful. So in a question A, direct the question. In a question B, you are using the idea of the complement, that one track. And in question C, you are using the track of the unit of the measurements that you have for the time. A unit of the time, you have to change now the value of lambda. So lambda equal to in the head of the question, but in the question C, it equal two times three, that equal a value six. Okay, so please, Now we can complete the answer for question nine using uh, these ideas. So now we finalized uh, that point. Thank you very much.